especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because Hello. what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that they're driving. And touchdown! DeAndre Hopkins, 43 yards as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Myers connects on the PAT, and that will extend this big lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And this return nets positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. Ready to begin their next drive here, the NFC offense. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Now Breeze on third down. And he's going to be taken down. They sack him on what will be the final play of quarter number three. It's the AFC in possession, though they trail here to begin the fourth. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Fielded at the 20. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. Now his defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. Three trips to the end zone. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for the AFC. 42 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that, has been confidence because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them, and now it's been a real issue for them during this game. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. And that is caught for an AFC touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins there to make the grab as his guys continue to pour it on. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shot of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead will swell by one more. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it ends with an AFC touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The offense for the NFC back out there. And it's great to see the Stars all out in one place, but in terms of football, what's really great to see is a very entertaining Pro Bowl as we are tied in the fourth quarter. And how many of these guys thought going into this game, after a pretty easy week heading into it, that the pressure would ratchet up now and someone has to make a play, which means someone will have a play made against them and not have to live with that for the rest of the year. 
And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5", and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Here's Breeze to throw. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. The reception good for seven. It's third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's the NFC with the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now Breeze. And his crew will take over with the football at the 35-yard line. So many times we end a game, and as we're recapping it, we're talking about what offenses did and how they won the game. Let's flip this. The defense, they frustrated the offense the entire ball game. That's why they're walking out of here with a victory. And they're going to love to walk out of here with that as their final act, that interception. Good way for them to end it. Going deep for Hopkins. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. To throw, it's Mahomes. Going deep for Hopkins. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Going deep for Hopkins. That's caught inside the 20. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. I know this defense knew it coming into the game, Charles, and they know it even more now. DeAndre Hopkins is a tough cover. And anytime you see him out there and there's less than double or triple teaming him, take a shot with it. Just what you're talking about. If he's such a tough cover, one guy's not going to get it done. Throw the ball out there. Let him go get it. Myers connects on the PAT, and that will extend this big lead. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with an AFC touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. The NFC offense heading back onto the field. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Julio Jones once again the intended target, and it'll bring up third down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the second down. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. He's been almost impossible to bottle up. You see that number 10 on your screen, a big reason why they have the lead. One of the guys that's being featured in this game and making sure that he's targeted. It's caught inside the 25. 
And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And that, boys and girls, is an NFL record. Sixth touchdown reception. The record has stood since 1950. What a game. How about that? Because so many things have to go right in order for it to happen. Not just him catching the passes. Someone delivering it accurately. Offensive line giving him time to throw the ball. A true team record. But he stands above it because he was on the... Sports. It's in the game. Hello, everyone. It's the coach. Welcome to EA Sports coverage of the two. All right, coach. Thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Straight ahead, bragging rights on the line in the 46th meeting of the AFC and the NFC in the 2019 NFL Pro Bowl game. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The NFC offense taking the field, being led in blue by the NFL's all-time passing leader. 12th Pro Bowl nomination for the great QB from New Orleans, Drew Brees. And you and I both know that this is not easy for him. It's fun to play football at any time, but you know he'd rather be preparing for the Super Bowl and still trying to get that missed call out of his head that may have prevented his Saints from getting there. 
Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The safety, Jamal Adams, able to break that one up. Starters for the NFC across the O-line. It's Tyron Smith of Dallas at left tackle. Brandon Brooks of the Eagles at left guard. You got Alex Mack, the center of the Falcons. Another Cowboy, Zach Martin at right guard. And then Teron Armstead of the Saints holding down the right side. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. The starting defense now for the AFC. And as expected, there's speed and talent everywhere you look on this Pro Bowl roster. Let's keep an eye on the secondary because they're going to be tested in a big way. It's the Pro Bowl. Not many running plays. The ball will be in the air on almost every snap. Fortunately for them, roster full of cornerbacks who are used to playing on an island. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Now Breeze. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice. Hello? Purple pump. And grappler. And heels. <laughs> 